Hello guys, I'm here with another Laravel tips that you can employ in any of your Laravel projects. If you're not new to programming, I'm sure you must have heard about try and catch block in any of the programming languages you use. Now let's talk about Laravel exception handling mechanisms. Okay, Laravel uses the try and catch block to allow developers to catch and handle exceptions and errors in their code seamlessly. To use try and catch in Laravel, you can enclose the code that you want to test for errors inside a try block. If an error occurs, it will be called by the corresponding catch block. Okay, let me show you how this actually works. First, let's try to get a user that doesn't exist in the database and see what happens. As you can see, it throws an exceptional error. This time around, it's 404 error. The user not found. So instead of making this page appear like this and breaking your code, you can actually catch the error by putting all your code inside the try and catch block, just like this. Okay. To catch this error, you're going to put a backslash on the section. Now this time around, you're going to return the error back to the user, but it's not going to break the code. So return back with error. Now tell the user what actually happens to your code. Maybe something like exceptional error. User not found. Okay, let's try it one more time and see what happens. As you can see, it throws an exceptional error. User not found. Okay, what actually displays this error? In our blade file, we have this session error which catches the error that we are going to throw to the user and display it to the user. So you have to make sure that you have this on your blade file to actually display the error to the user. Now, there's another scenario. What if we try to find this, not using find or fail? Maybe if you find this record, it's going to be a null value because the record doesn't exist and you want to use that no value on an update function which is going to throw an error to the user because you can't use an update function on a no value so let's try this out and see how it works let's save yes i saved it okay okay this actually breaks your code and if you don't want this type of thing to be to happen to your code you have to actually catch the error also just the same way you catch the exception error this time around is going to be a normal error which is going to be like this error then you can say error let's refresh this back okay let's try to update as you can see it caught the error uh, now your website looks more friendly to the users to understand and know what is actually happening on the background so if you find this informative and helpful please turn Forget to like and subscribe and also share to your friends. Thanks for watching.